This is Zach Claggett, and the Cherie Movie Theater means a lot more to Zach than just the place that he works at currently. This was the place that his dreams of becoming a famous movie director one day finally became a bit more realistic, and it all started when he enrolled at Murray State University. Well, originally I wasn't going to go for TV production. I was actually going to go to St. Louis for culinary arts. And uh, some of my friends were coming to Murray State, and after I toured, I was like, this is the place. I absolutely loved touring Murray State. I loved meeting Chris Haynes. I just love this place. I, I loved every moment of me being here whenever I toured, and I was like, I want to go here. I want to actually be here for TV production. But his love for the culinary arts did not go entirely to waste, as he currently has a food series where he goes up against the biggest food chains. Uh, the series is Beef's Culinary Conquest, and it's technically my capstone. And with that, I go against fast food restaurants and compete with some of their known meal items to see if I can basically make it better at home. In addition to that series, Zach's biggest accomplishment is the movie that he made, Collide, that premiered at Cherie Theaters back in December. Collide took about two years to write, or technically to make in general. We were a year and a half in pre-production, half of a year in uh, production going into post-production for it to premiere December 2nd at Cherie Theaters. But what ultimately turned into the big premiere of Collide at the theater came from a single conversation that Zach had with general manager Chris Hopkins to shoot a single shot at the theater. I first got put in uh, into talks with Chris Hopkins with uh, shooting a scene here. And that same day I pitched to him, I was like, hey, what if we, what if we produced this movie here, like had it drop here? And Chris was on board from the get-go. He was like, let's do this, it sounds fun. And to my understandings, it was the biggest show of the week with 113 as the count. And uh, that's pretty dope. I thought it was pretty cool. It was probably the most unique experience I've had working here. With When you work here for a while, you get used to all the big blockbuster movies that all kind of start to feel the same in terms of the people coming in. But for a movie like Collide, where it was made by somebody who lives in this town, and all the people coming in were all, they all knew Zach. This felt like it was an entire big group of friends coming to see one movie to support their friend, and that probably made that the most unique experience we've had with a movie here in general. Honestly, it was overwhelming. I didn't know exactly what to do in that reaction. First off, I didn't think I'd get 113 people to show up to see this movie in an actual theater, and to see friends, family, people that I also did not know come and watch this after we had advertisements and shown trailers. Um, it was just shocking. I didn't know what to do. I was I had a loss for words. But despite all the ticket sales, Zach specifically requested that he get none of the money that the movie theater made from the tickets. I think that just says he's just a really genuine, selfless guy because there was a lot of people that came in for that movie. And so there was a lot of money made from that movie. So the fact that he did not want any bit of it whatsoever, I think just speaks really highly of him as a person. And it's one of the many qualities that I just enjoy now, now that I know him more personally. My dream would be working as a cinematographer, a director of photography for big films. I would love to be there in the moment while big, meaningful films or life-changing films are happening and be one of the people that worked on it. But no matter what Zach ends up doing in the future, he will never forget that one night at Shuri Theater. I don't know. It was, it was just, I guess, very fun to do. It was something that, like, it's, it's going to stick with me for the rest of my life. Two years in the making. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs>